my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Mindy. I am moved by your gracious words and by your friendship. Look at God, everyone. <laughs> I'm deeply humbled and so grateful for this honor. I thank God above all for gifting me with the talent and the tools to have a career that's greater than any I could have imagined when I wrote in my high school yearbook in a small town in Kentucky that I would become a writer in New York City. I hope he knows that I try in everything I do to fulfill his will. I wanna thank Literacy Partners for this prestigious honor and especially my friend Cynthia McFadden, who I believe nominated me for the award. So when our movie was released last Christmas, my mother asked me, how does it feel to be famous? I said, Mom, if you have to tell people you're famous, you ain't famous. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is, I've always been more comfortable focusing on my work than on calling attention to myself. So I'm a bit overwhelmed uh, by this recognition tonight, but also so very thankful. I wanna thank my Simon & Schuster colleagues and friends who've come out this evening to support me. Their support has sustained me during the last year and a half since I entered a new industry in a new role during a pandemic. In fact, <laughs> several of us who joined the company during the pandemic are meeting for the first time tonight in person because we've been working remotely uh, at this time and are just now returning to our office. I wanna say to my colleagues that the fact that I've been able to bond with you and that we've been able to publish great books together under these circumstances is testament to your commitment to your jobs, of course, but also to your generous spirits, your kindness, and your good cheer. You have my abiding admiration and gratitude. I also want to thank Laura Coates, who will be reading from her amazing book this, uh, in a few minutes, Just Pursuit. It was one of the first books I helped to acquire when I arrived at SNS. Working with authors like her, who have important books to put into the world, is why I accepted the role when our CEO, Jonathan Karp, approached me about it, and it's what drives me every day as publisher. There's a, one other person I want to thank. He's the inspiration for everything I do, my son Jordan, who's here tonight. Thank you, Jordan, for being you. Jordan, who six, turned 16 last week, is smarter, kinder, and funnier than me. And trying to live up to his example is my greatest motivation. Jordan knows all of this because not a single day goes by that he doesn't hear from me either directly or hear me telling someone just how proud I am of him and how much I love him. Speaking of my incredible son, he has a nickname for me that seems appropriate to share tonight, Word Nerd. When he was a baby, he used to like to sleep next to me, well, for several years, but, uh, and wouldn't go to sleep if the lights were on, so I had a pair of reading glasses that had lights attached to them, and I would turn off the lights and read in the dark uh, with him beside me. The truth is, he's grown up around books. Whether I was reading to him, or he was watching me read, or he was listening to authors like Bob Woodward, Rachel Swarns, and Eugene Robinson talk about their books in our living room or over Zoom. As an author myself, I know the power of the written word. Harnessing that power to inform, to uplift, and to motivate readers has been a theme of my entire career, whether I was writing front page stories for the New York Times, announcing Pulitzer Prize winners, or writing my own book. I know that written communication helps us better under understand each other and ourselves. Books make us think, feel, and spur us to change. They help us make better decisions at the ballot box and help us express ourselves and how we feel to our loved ones. That is why the work of Literacy Partners is so invaluable. I also know firsthand, because I once volunteered for a literacy program, and after some training was assigned to teach a woman to read, I know what it means not to be able to do that. I remember she needed money for groceries, and I offered to pay. And that was back during the time when we wrote checks for um, groceries. I handed her my checkbook, and I said, just fill it out, and I'll sign it. She froze, not wanting me to, to tell me that she couldn't do it. Imagine. 
Living in a world in which you cannot write a check or read the instruction man manual for a driver's permit or read the signs at a bus station or an airport. And yet, that is the reality for so many people in this country and around the world. So thank you, Literacy Partners, not just for this amazing award, but for the critical work you do every day that empowers so many people enriches, and enriches their lives and society. I'm deeply grateful. Thank you.